starting to feel like the spring season for our spring season of sports. Beautiful day this afternoon and it's April vacation for a lot of the high schools. So a lot of matinee earlier games this afternoon. So first we'll take you out to Grafton for one of the border wars as Grafton hosts Westboro on the beautiful shores of Lake Ripple. Top second Indians hurler Tyler oh Dupuy dealing. Two punch outs for Dupuy in this frame. Top third now, Westboro threatening with two on and two out. Shallow fly ball, opposite field could be trouble, but Cam Powell shows off the range to end the inning. Bottom third now, Westboro getting the K to end the inning. Through three full innings, Indians up four nothing. Bottom of the fifth now, Grafton looking for insurance. Matt Holbrook with a deep fly to right. Pretty deep back there, and Charlie Farah tagging home. He scores, and it's 5 0 Grafton. Next batter, Jack Martin. Jack's a deep fly to left. Ben Wakevich scores, and it's 6 0 Indians. Grafton goes on to win. 6 1 is your final. Also, this afternoon, championship of the Aztec Invitational at the New England Baseball Complex in Northboro. Millbury taking on Acibit Valley. Bottom first runner on second for the Aztecs. Acibit's Isaac Wagner with the deep drive to center. He's in for a double, and Andrew Smith scores. It's 1 0 Aztecs. Top second now. Milbury's Sean Kelly. Single to left. Woolies have runners at first and second, but Acibit's Tyler Dosis would get out of the inning, stranding the runners. Bottom second now. Acibit strikes again. Tyler, Tyler, Justin Juicy single to left. CJ Cormier scores from second, and it's 2 0 Aztecs. Dosis dominates the third, the junior strikes out the side, and Acibit goes on to win the Aztec Invitational. 3-0, your final. Another championship going on, the Panther Classic, as West Boylston and South softball are ready to go. Top first, runners in scoring position for South. Pitch gets away as Alexa Diaz comes home, and it's 1-0 Colonels. Next batter, chopper to second. Lions get the out at first, but Jenna Goggins is safe at the plate, and it's 2-0 Colonels. West Boylston's Peyton Maloney. Feeling her position well, she grabs that shot for the out. Maloney also getting the strikeout to end the inning. Just dealing today. Bottom of the first, runner on for West Boylston. Marky Fleming hits one to left field. Jalen Fleming comes around from second to score, and it's 2-1 Colonels. Next batter. Maloney with a grounder to second. She's out at first, but she helps her cause as Marky Fleming scores to tie the game up. Still the first inning. Base is loaded now. Lions looking to clear the bases, but Faith Jackson tracks the ball to end the inning and the threat. Top second now. West Boylston's Maloney reaching back for another K. Bottom second, South's Lana Fitton. She's getting a K of her own to end the inning. South wins the Panther Classic with a final 9-3. to three. To the college fields we go. WPI and Bridgewater State. Game one of a doubleheader. Scoreless in the top first. Bridgewater's shot to right. Right to Mackenzie Phillips to end the inning. Bottom first runner at second for WPI's Renee LeClaire. She gets one through the middle as Marissa Gonzalez comes in to score. And it's 1-0 Engineers. Top second. WPI's Phillips firing for a strikeout. Top third, Phillips with another K to end the inning. She had nine strikeouts in the game. Bottom third, WPI's Caroline Wood singles to left field. Runners at first and second for the Engineers. Next batter, WPI's LeClaire gets one to drop in left center. Gonzalez coming around from second to score and the Engineers go up 2-0. Still third inning, bases loaded now. WPI's Gabriella Serbo with a bases clearing single as Wood, LeClaire, and Cassie Graca all coming in to score. Five nothing engineers at the time. WPI will go on to win game one. Six one is your final. And up to the hill tonight, Holy Cross hosting Boston University and women's lacrosse, all part of the Turnpike Trophy rivalry. One nothing BU in the first half. BU keeping the pressure on, but the shot is robbed by Ju Juliana Kluber. BU's Kaylee Conry getting the check from behind, but her shot goes in and it's 3-0 Terriers. BU, good passing, but 
Kubler there for the save. She currently ranks second in the Patriot League in save percentage. Holy Cross is Baker Earl rolling from behind the net. Her shot is stopped by Kennedy Smith. BU's Kelly Matthews on the ISO. She has a twine finder and Terriers are up 4-0. BU feeding Caitlin Belval for the quick goal. Terriers go up 5-0. Holy Cross finding Audrey Mandaro in front. She gets the goal and the Crusaders are on the board 5-1. BU's Mackenzie Howe rippling the twine. BU will go on to win this game. 23 to 14 is your final. And finally, I just want to give a shout out to my dad. Happy birthday to him. He was celebrating today. He went down to the Paw Sox game to see Buffalo. He's been wanting to see Vlad Guerrero Jr. for a really long time. It's been multiple, multiple years, multiple states, multiple teams. Finally got to see him today on his birthday and Vlad hit a home run. But the Paw Sox won, so that's great for us. Paw Sox won 11-8, yeah. so we'll take that, but also he'll take the home run, I guess. Good stuff. You said last year he was going to try and make it to the game, but he didn't play. Yeah, so there was a doubleheader, and then the game that we actually went to, he wasn't playing in. So that was up in New Hampshire, and it's, it's just been many years of doing this. So finally able to do it. I'm happy for him. Happy he was able to get that. And especially on his birthday on the a beautiful day. The perfect storm. I know. And what nice weather to be out at a Paw Sox game. Yeah. You, can't, you cannot beat this right no, now. No, absolutely not. And you see rain in the forecast coming up. So today was the day. Yeah, definitely. Good stuff. Well, happy birthday to Mr. Wilson. <laughs> That's going to do it for us here on Worcester News Tonight. For Brenda Wilson, I'm Anna Botari. See you back here tomorrow.